opening the barn door and letting the goats out into this run here. You know, we used to just let the goats out into the pasture all the time, but that really wasn't working well for our pasture health. I'm not going to say we'll never do that again because in times where we need convenience, that's a great way to do things. But right now, you know, we've been rotating them and they started out on this piece and they're back here now after quite some time. And it's so overgrown. They have a ton to eat. Goats aren't as finicky and picky as cows. They'll eat a lot more variety. So them cleaning up this area is really nice. One thing about this whole area is that it's been heavily disturbed by cattle, by goats, and by pigs. So there's a lot of um, weeds that you typically see when you get that disturbance and it starts, they start to take over. So I hope at some point we'll be able to reseed this area with grass. But for now, we, we kind of call this our sacrifice area. And it's kind of the area we let get you know, disturbed, especially because of our drainage issue that we still have here. There's no point in reseeding this area until we get that fixed, because a lot of times this is just a real muddy area. And that's why it gets so disturbed by the animals. It's because there's so much mud here. The goats don't mind. They love it. Good morning. <laughs> Good old Shep, our imperfect, perfect farm dog. <laughs> Arthur just said, is that all you're getting? <laughs> it's a ton. She might not want more work than that, honey. I don't know, they got beat down by the rain, but I think the petals are still there, so they're I think still they're smelling. fine. Oh, they smell amazing. You, if you're having a bad day, just come smell chamomile. Your whole day will change. It's like, I call it like the happy flower. Something about it just makes me happy when I smell it. I bet there's some science behind that. Dad, I'd put some water in there. Dad, do you have wee wee? Well, I'm not, was... we're gonna pluck off the tops. I was just telling Brighton about this tree. This is the miracle apple tree and this it's not a miracle, it's just what well, it is a miracle. It's not unusual. But this tree was eaten by our old calf steer, Brownie. It was eaten off and just picked down to nothing and I just cut it off right here. And then it grew out here and then this I think it got eaten by goats and then I cut it here and then it's growing into this beautiful little tree. It's one of the better looking trees out here. I need you to go get the rest of the milk out of the other bush. Yeah. This morning, we're eating weeds from the garden. This is mostly lamb's quarter. It also has some kale in it and some mustard greens, and it's delicious. Who tried it? Me, Me. it's so good. Me! I don't really like no, it. No, 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 Yes. If you can't eliminate weeds, just eat them. We're also having biscuits and gravy from our sausage and oranges. It's raining outside, so we're having a slow breakfast, and then we're gonna get started on some projects Swap that we can do, even though it's raining. I'm also having if homemade you can't, jam. If you can't beat them, eat them. <laughs> this is what lamb's quarter looks like. It's a super common weed, especially in our garden. <laughs> I pick it by the handfuls. I mean, I could spend hours just pulling this weed out. <laughs> Will you taste it and tell us what you think? Sure. I mean, cook. Mama. Mama. Tastes like Do you a green. Like it? It's a lot, wow, it's really rich. Almost buttery. Mm. It is very mm. rich. 
<laughs> Only pull it when you're gonna eat it. It tastes good with a bunch of salt on it. We should just <laughs> let it grow. Yeah, we should just, um, unless it's drowning out our plants. Cooked, I really, I do like it. I think um, raw, I would wanna chop it up and put it in salad. In fresh, other fresh greens, not just straight. But cooked, it's really good. I highly, highly recommend trying this. Sesame oil. Soy sauce. Oh yeah, sesame oil. Soy sauce. It was like a few drops. Okay, now a dream come true. I get to go weed eat in the rain. I'm not joking, I've been looking forward to this a lot. Not the rain, just weed eating the section of pasture I need to, to get it reset, knock down all the weeds. I'm gonna do that now, and I'm gonna enjoy every minute of it. See you in a few minutes. just as much fun as I thought it was going to be. I was standing there just trying to decide if I should go back and work on the back pasture, which needs doing as well. But I had about 40 minutes to do this. That time's about up. I'm going to put these boys down for naps next. Because I try to help with that every day. Or almost every day. We just ate breakfast. We just ate breakfast. Yeah, we ate a late breakfast, but it is nap time. Wilder, are you ready for nap? Yeah. Dazzles. Dazzles. 